morning, I'm John. I'm in Davenport, California. It's right along Highway 1, just right on the coast. The Pacific Ocean to my right and to my left, this old railroad track that extends quite a way. So we're going to start on this uh, railroad track. We're going to go down to, we're going to pass a few beaches and then I'm going to come back up and I'm going to hike along uh, some trails that are right along the, uh, the water. And uh, so we just uh, want to come along for me. Let's go for a walk. can see I'm in a little bit of a pickle. I cannot see where the next ties are. I really don't want to completely step in all that stuff. Uh, so it'll be a little bit slow going from here and I will pick it up uh, the second I'm across. All right. to exactly where I was hoping to, Panther Beach. It's about uh, two miles south of Davenport. I guess that would make it seven-ish miles north along one from Santa Cruz. So I'm just gonna walk over to the cliff face, get a good view, and then we're gonna turn around and we're gonna Hike along the trail that goes along the coast, which is what I'm on right now. It'll be a lot easier. It's longer, it winds. Uh, there can be some really great views of the ocean. Uh, and it's, uh, you know, it's turning into a pretty beautiful day with the marine layer starting to fade. We're gonna get a really good look of Panther Beach coming up here not too windy. I thought it was going to be really windy uh, up here on the, the cliffs for the walk uh, as the waves are pretty gnarly. Uh, but uh, it's really, it's really calm. There's another beach right next to Pan Panther Beach called Hole in the Wall Beach. 
which is going to be more to the left of where I'm at right now. Not sure how accessible that is. Oh, it looks like it's very accessible. There's people down there right now. So if I keep going further south, that's probably a nice area to walk down to get to that beach from there. And I believe there is a hole in the cliff face at a low tide you can walk under to get there directly from Panther Beach. Hopefully that wave sound is coming through really good. Alright, let's head down there. Caught my breath a little bit from hiking up from the beach. It was really steep. It's treacherous. One wrong step and you're gonna slip and slide down that thing and get all kinds of messed up. There's a group coming down like the hardest way possible from the cliffs. I don't know what they were thinking. But they all made it. They just went the Yes, the hardest way you could possibly take to get to the beach. But as uh, you can see, the tide was low, and so you saw the, the hole in the wall. Walk through that to the other side. And then uh, there was the drainage tunnel. Uh, this is too grown up right here. There is a lot of thorns in these wild flowers I actually raked a, a stem across my ankle put some triple antibiotic on it tonight just to make sure it's a little red but uh, so now we're on our way to Bonnie Dune Beach after that is Sharkfin Cove and after that is back to uh, the Davenport beaches. There's an old pier that used to go out into the water that has a few, uh, or a dock or something like that, has a few concrete footings left. It's very popular for sunset pictures. Somebody attached a swing uh, to one of the supports. You'll see a lot of sunset swing pictures and stuff on Instagram. It's very popular, it's very pretty. Very, very pretty area at sunset. The skies are always gorgeous, even when it's cloudy, it's crystal clear. It's a, it's a really beautiful area. California's coast is quite magnificent. And there's a little beach that I passed, a little cove, a little beach right here. 
I'm not sure if I'm gonna go down there or not, but uh, you see the video of it? You know I did. Catch you later. This is Bonnie Dune. Very easy to get down. Getting back up will be fun since it's all sand. But it's not pure sand. There's a lot of rocks and debris in it, so it's got a little bit more hold. See, there's another drainage tunnel over here, and it is really flowing. I'm gonna walk over there. Basically makes this river that cuts the beach in half. and then goes over towards the cliffs and slowly seeps its way out to the ocean. Of course, when the tide comes in, it'll slosh up probably against the rocks and help fill this up. I can definitely tell you that it is way deeper than the last time I was here. It's been, it's probably been a good seven eight years since i was here uh and this is like a little like river gorge now it was not like that before imagine the water that was coming through here this last year with all the rain i mean it probably would have been up to the level that i'm currently walking at with how crazy those storms were. I mean, from this edge to the peak edge over there, it's 30 feet. This whole little basin area right here is probably completely full of water. And look at it, it's still flowing. Flowing like crazy from the mountains up north of Santa Cruz in the redwoods there flowing all the way down here Man. There's a, it's not an insignificant depth right there, in my opinion. Imagine like I'd be standing. This is definitely six feet plus deep. Mm. 
Nature is a powerful thing. Oh, that's cold water. The colors of the cliffs. Should be a big one coming soon. Waiting for that. Here comes another one. Damn, the ocean's scary. Why does anybody ever go out in there? That's terrifying. I mean, that's not even bad weather. It's just like normal day. the wildflowers. It's like an amphitheater and the stage right there. Uh, next stop will be Shark Fin Cove.
and here we are at Shark Fin Cove. Very small. You can see the aforenamed shark fin right there towards the right hand of the screen. There's typically lots of graffiti around here and you can already see some. Around the corner of the cliff that's to my right there's typically a lot there's kind of like a another like alcove area. It typically has a lot of graffiti on it as well. It's a lot more graffiti than uh, when I was here all those years ago. Isn't that just beautiful? That deserves a slow-mo shot. a little bit too long had to get out of there so this is the second part of the beach comes along to this kind of like alcove area I'm here at the height of summer and there's just like chairs all over the place. Very popular. I don't know if there's any cool artwork anywhere. Just some basic tags. Another look at the shark fin. Okay, last stop, Davenport Beach. Davenport Beach. It must be that on the other side is where the remnants of that old pier are. Well, up above the cliff, just uh, basically the two cliffs away from the beach. And I gotta be honest, I'm exhausted. Hiking up and down out of these beaches is quite the quite the task. And uh, I'm beat, so I'm going to call it a day and save Davenport Beach and Davenport Pier for 
another trip out here. It's always gorgeous out here. There's, it's always nice to have a good reason to come and visit the coast. So I'm going to walk nice and slowly back to my car and uh, go get some food and then head back home. Thanks for joining me. Like, comment, subscribe if you would please, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.